Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my preparation for back to school, back to school shopping, basically. Um, so I'm going to be shopping today. That's my plan. And then I'll do a haul after. But right now I'm still in my pajamas. I'm looking to get changed and get ready. Yeah. If you guys like this video, make sure you guys like, subscribe, comment, and let me get ready. So here is the trolley that we're using. I'm not going to film too much because there's so many people here. <laughs> stores i'm currently eating but i will give a haul when i oh my gosh i look so tired but i'll give a haul once i get back from typo because i am going to go get a pencil case guys it is currently the next day from when i was vlogging so it's the next day because i was vlogging yesterday i kind of forgot to give you guys a haul because I also went to go and get my pencil case, but I'll show that in like what's my but I'll show that in my what's in my backpack because I don't want things to be too boring. Okay, so let me show you the stationery. I have everything. I'm not gonna show like the books, like the 72 page books, they're just basic 72 page books. That's gonna be very boring. I still have to get my textbooks though, so that's that. I also forgot to get pens, so I'm just I am in a different area. This is somewhere else and it's not in my room by the way, it's somewhere else. And that's a chalkboard that we did in October. Anyways, let's start with the stationery haul. So, the first thing that I got were two erasers. I'm sorry if my voice sounds weird. I just got out of the pool and for some reason I just sound like this. Oh, I swear. So I just got, and I'm kind of sick. So I just got two basic erasers. I have to film two videos today. So I'm trying to be quick. So I got two erasers. Yeah. Um, I actually, wait. My friend had erasers like this. And for some reason, I just loved the red cover. So I wanted to get these. Um, next is Maxi Glue Sticks. Like three of them. I think I need four, I'm not sure, but there's never been a year at school where I haven't used glue sticks, so I obviously need these. Okay, so the next thing that I got was this ruler. It's just a basic black ruler, because I've been using my friend's ruler for quite a while, so I just got a black one. Yeah. Okay, and then next I got scissors. I don't get scissors every year, it's just I needed bigger ones, and my other ones were kind of beat up so i just got these and then next i got where's the second one Hold on. okay i got clutch pencils so this is the first one it's just a purple clutch pencil nothing big you know oh and here's the second one this pink clutch pencil. My theme this year was pink, by the way. So I also got something else. And then um, I got three quotation folders, plastic files. I got this one for one subject. So I needed two for two subjects. Um, so that's it's gonna be for those. And then this one is for English. And then I just needed two exam pads. Yeah, they have 100 pages. That's why I picked them. Also, I low-key love the front cover. And I didn't really like the other ones, so. Sorry. And then I got this two-ring binder. This was literally like the last one. It's, it's a two-ring shimmer binder, actually. I really wanted a lighter pink, but I actually love this color so much. So, I have that. Also, I'm kind of sick. <laughs> Next, I got whiteboard markers. Pink, yellow, green, red, blue, and black. Basic colors, just six. I think 
to school, I'll either take pink, um, green, red, black, and blue. No, pink, black, red, and blue, or black, red, blue, and green. But I don't think I'll take yellow right now. Next, I got lead. Oh my gosh, that's all. I only got one because I already have lead. Oh my gosh, sorry. Next I got these file dividers. I just got five. I don't know how it's labeled, but it's a pack of file dividers. I wanted to get different colors, but these were literally the only colors apparently. So it's just red, orange, yellow, green, and blue. Next I got a calculator for math. I'm so happy that we get to use a calculator this year for math because we haven't been able to use calculators or any of the other years. So this is great. They wanted a specific calculator and I wanted to get a pink one. But there weren't any pink ones left. So I had to get the white one. Next is paint. I just need paint for art. I also have oil pastels, but I'm using the same ones as last year, which is the same ones as grade four, but we barely use oil pastels that much. And if I just need new ones, I'll get them whenever. So I just got white paint. My friend got these last year. Yeah, last year for, yeah, for art. And I have the blue ones and hers just like, they look so good. Like they look so clean. Like look how clean those colors look. Like. I am obsessed, like, and the white just gives the vibe, you know? Next, my amazing mom, like, my mom got these for me. She said, like, she grabbed them and gave them to me. So it's basically, like, I got, like, similar ones to these last year, so I still have those. But then it's, like, these things that you can help to study. So it's just one, two, three, four, and five. So you just label that however you want. It's, one is pink. Two is green, three is yellow, four is blue, and five is orange. So they basically just stick and they look so pretty when you stick them. Um, and the last thing that I got was a diary for 2024. I don't know if you can see that. It's a pretty basic diary, I know, but I literally love it so much because it's pink. You know, and I just love pink. So it does have a bit of dermance. I don't think you can see, but I'm gonna have to wipe it. <laughs> and so it just basically has this print. You, I don't think you can see that. Oh, wait, I think you can. Yeah, it just has this print going here, and then it has 2024, so it has the 20, the two and the zero in like silver, and then the 20, the two and the four, 24 outlined in silver. And it just looks so pretty inside. So. Here it just has holidays and the calendar in general. Oh my gosh, it even has the, so it has, this one has the calendar for 2023, 2024, and 2025. And it has all of the religious festivals and holidays. And then it has the academic calendar. And then here is like a year planner, which I think is so cool every day you can kind of write something for each year i don't think i'm gonna use this because it's kind of confusing me we're not gonna talk about it so my school wanted a diary where we could write for like it's a page for every day not a page and sections for the week because we might get homework like every day which is very interesting because basically last year and yeah just last year we didn't get homework in 2022 the fourth grade we did get a bit of homework but it wasn't even that much like it was homework but it wasn't that much homework but last year we barely got any homework it was just like very nice and chill which is very good you know um so we only got a bit of homework that we had to do or activities we had to do at home so it basically has all of the days so it does have the first of january which i don't think i'm gonna use obviously because it's already passed but yeah 
when school starts i will obviously be using it and what is cool um it even has the weekend um but the weekends share a day obviously because we don't do homework on the weekends unless it's really important no because we don't have any homework on the weekends so we won't even i won't even need to do that but see they are joined and stuff like that then oh and i just i forgot to tell you guys this and i just realized this today um Here is basically the front. It's just that. Um, on every page, oh, it also has this like a bookmark thing. Anyways, on every page, there's like a quote. So the first of January one is, I have the power to choose. I have the power to think. I have the power to will. I have the power to laugh. I have the power to imagine. I have the power to create. I have the power to plan. I have the power to speak. I have the power to pray. I'm known. And then for the 2nd of January, it is work hard in silence. Let your success be your noise. That is so nice. And then it's anonymous. And then for the 3rd, which is today, today, um, great content is the best sales tool in the world. Marcus Sheridan. I hope I'm saying that right. I'm so sorry if I'm saying that wrong. But that is such a good quote for today. So, the quote for today. Okay, yeah. Oh my gosh, my head got to stand on it. But we all have our own quotes, yeah. I'm trying to stick on you right now. Yeah. We all have our own quotes that mean something special. So, if you have a comment, quote that means something special, hold on to that. Like, I have other quotes that mean something important to me so yeah but um i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure you guys like subscribe and comment and stay tuned because there's gonna be so much more exciting comment content i'm actually gonna be filming some of it today like i actually have to get to it stat right now but it's gonna be so exciting it's so exciting for me and i hope you guys really enjoy that content but I hope you guys have a wonderful day and bye.